Hey, what's good YouTube? My name is Craig and this is the next installment in my how to become an award-winning author series. And in this video, I'll be talking about the two different strategies that will help you to price your book uh, after or before you decide to publish it. And so really, I'm going to be dis discussing two main strategies. That's going to be pricing your book based upon your industry or niche standards or the second strategy, which is called value based pricing. And so the whole idea of how to price your book is a very taboo topic. And it's very, very important because you want to make sure that yes, a you're getting the highest royalties for your book. You want to, you want people to pay a fair price for the work that you created, but you also don't want to price your book so high that people don't want to buy it. Or on the antithesis, you don't want to price your book too low so that you're not getting the royalties that you need. So without further ado, I'm going to talk about the three main reasons why you should price your book correctly. So why should an author decide to price their book correctly? So why is book pricing so important? Well, I've come up with three main reasons to why choosing the right book price is so important. Number one, I mentioned this earlier, is that you want to increase your royalties. You want to get the maximum amount of royalties you can from your hard work. Like you didn't spend months and years writing this book only not to make any money. Like as authors, we're in the business of making money. I hate when people say, hey, authors don't make money from the books. Yes, you can. And aside from marketing your book right, you have to price it right. So make sure you are pricing your book at an area or at a price range that's going to give you the highest royalties. Two is that you, the second main reason why you want to price your book correctly is you want to fit within your niche. Different niches have different average price ranges. So for example, with me being a self-help business book author, my prices are, are some of the highest in the, in the industry. Whereas somebody may be in a romance uh, or in fiction and uh, in those types of categories, there's dozens of different romance categories. Their book prices are a lot cheaper. So if my average uh, book price, let's say is um, $8.49 for an ebook in the uh, business self-help range and the romance uh, range, it might be $1.99 or $2.99. So you have to know what are the average prices within your book niche uh, or book style so you don't stand out too much. And then the, the last or the third main reason why you want to price your book correctly is you want to set reader expectations. If p readers are buying your first book and it's really, really cheap, they're going to expect the rest of your books to kind of be cheap as well. And the same as if you're pricing your book at a higher, more premium level, your readers are going to expect to pay premiums for your book. And readers, if you, if you come in too low, it's, it's really harder to raise your prices and it's much easier, I mean, it's much easier to lower your prices than it is to raise it. So if you're going to come in high, come in high, you don't want to have to be playing this variable pricing game. So those are the three main reasons why you want to price your book correctly. When it comes to your book pricing options, there's pretty much two main strategies. Number one is based upon your niche or industry. And then the second uh, book pricing style is value-based pricing. And so the standard niche or industry pricing is basically pricing your book based upon like what other authors do in your niche. Like what's the average uh, book price or medium book price within my niche. And so the pro for doing this industry niche style pricing is that you're never gonna, you're not gonna stand out too much. You're gonna fit in right with the pack. And so when random readers are looking at your books that don't know you, they're not gonna be too scared to, to buy your book because it's just, it's the expectation that my business book, my self-help book is going to be this much money because that's what the industry average is. But the, the con with industry-based pricing is that you might lose out on precious royalties. Like if your industry is a lower standard standardized book price, like I said, romance, uh, which are very, very common, particularly in ebooks, to be priced at 99 cents, a dollar ninety-nine, like you're gonna have to sell more copies of your book to make more money. 
And so if your industry is known for having these cheap, cheaper books, you're probably gonna have to price your uh, book at that level, which may cause you to lose out on royalties. So moving forward, that the second main pricing strategy is what I call value-based pricing. And this is what you think your book is worth to readers. It's not based upon what other people think. It's not based upon the industry standard. It's based upon what you think the price of your book should be. And so the pro of this pricing style is that you can make more royalties. Like you get more money per book sold because you're basing it upon like what the value is. And so you're not going to just fall prey to lower, cheaper books or book prices. You're going to probably set a premium price when you're doing value based pricing. But the, the antithesis, the con to this is that some readers may think you're overpriced. Like if the average price of uh, an ebook in your niche is eight forty nine, and you're pushing it for fifteen ninety nine or sixteen ninety nine, if you don't have a major following, if somebody random is just running across your book, let's say on Amazon, they probably will be hesitant to to pay to pay that premium. So just understand that like the two main pricing strategies are industry kind of niche average or value based pricing. And one more major nugget of wisdom when it comes to choosing your, your, your prices for your books is to understand that like there's different average price ranges for different types of books or different book formats. So what do I mean is that you typically have four different types of book formats. You have the paperback, the hardback, the ebook, and then <clears throat> the audiobook. And so those different types of books are gonna have different price ranges. So for me, the, the most cost effective option I have is the audiobook. And my audiobook is published on Audible. And I and on Audible and a lot of other audiobook formatting uh, platforms is that you don't have control over your price. They're gonna set your book price, your audiobook price, based upon the length of recorded audio you have. So the longer your book is in terms of listening minutes, listening time, the higher your book price is gonna be. And they set it for you. But then you look at kind of like your ebook, paperback, and hardback. And in those options, the ebook is probably gonna be the cheapest, the paperback's gonna be the second cheapest, and the hardback's gonna be uh, the most expensive. And that's based upon the production cost. So for me, like, Ebooks cost nothing to produce. Like it's it's a digital asset. It is what it is. But my paperback, my print cost, I think is like three dollars and thirteen cents. But then my hardback, like author print cost, is like seven dollars and twenty five cents. So oftentimes, paperbacks may be double or seventy five percent higher or more expensive than your paperback. So just understand that, like depending on the types of uh, book formats you have, that's going to affect your book pricing. So that's just one little uh, tip I wanted to provide you with. And last but not least, like I said, I like to give people the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So the strategy that I used to price my book was actually kind of an, a hybrid between the industry slash niche average and value-based pricing. So I understood that like my book as a self-help business book is going to be a book that's uh, a, more expensive because those two niches are actually probably the most expensive book niches uh, in the world. And so I looked at the average cost, like for example, my ebook is priced at $9.99. Uh, the average ebook price in the, the book and the business or self-help is more like $8.49. But A, you know, based upon Amazon, $9.99 is like the highest price where you can get their maximum royalty of like 60%. So I, I knew that the book I was writing was a very, very viable book. Like people read my book instantaneously in two hours. Uh, out of the 50 something reviews that I have on Amazon, they're all four and five star reviews. So I knew my book is very, very high quality, even though it's short. And I hate when people price books based upon like how long it is. Like it doesn't matter how long your book is. How good is it? What are people getting out of it? So I actually looked at the average price of the books in my niche and then I added you know, a dollar or two premium on it. And that's just what I did. And so far so good, it worked. And for me, it's like you set a price and you stick with it. So that's how I priced my book. So in sum, when you're deciding or figuring out how to price your book, know that, that there's two main pricing strategies. One is the industry or niche uh, price average for, for your book 
or the second type of pricing strategy is what I call value pay, uh, value based pricing. And that's when you basically think about what readers are going to get out of your book. And it's a premium uh, way of pricing your book. And so rec my recommendation is just to figure out what works for you. Look at what other authors are doing in your niche, but also think about yourself and don't fall prey to just racing to the bottom and trying to sell the cheapest book possible. Like my next video is going to be all about the whole 99 cent book pricing or the freemium type of book pricing and my opinions on that and why I think that that's probably not the best strategy for certain types of authors. But remember, this is a business. Your, your goal is to make money for your book. Your book is just not this cheap free giveaway business card. Don't think like that. Think like a business person, price your book adequately so you can make the most amount of money as possible from your books. So per usual, I always have a question of the day. And my question for you today is, is do you buy books based upon their sticker price or the value you think you're going to get from reading the book? Um, I'm really curious to know your thoughts, so please be sure to drop your comments below. Furthermore, if you want to become the entrepreneur of your life, please subscribe to this channel and also be sure to click the notification bell to be alerted for whenever new content drops. Until next time.